Cake pops are amazing, but they're usually made with cake scraps. But what do you do if you don't have leftover cake? You'll have to bake one off yourself and wait for it to cool. Most importantly, why would you spend an hour of your time making a beautiful cake to only destroy it? I'm going to show you today the easiest and fastest way to make fresh, delicious cake pops when you don't have leftover cake. We're making my mug cake recipe today quadrupled. To the melted butter and vanilla, I've added sugar and milk. Give these a quick mix and add the flour, baking powder, and salt. If you've ever made my mug cakes, you're familiar with this recipe and you know how easy and delicious these are. Do not use a fork to mix the batter. I had to switch to whisk as it's much faster and easier to combine everything and it really breaks up those flour lumps. You're going to pour half of the cake batter in two mugs or I should say in my case teacups. With the other half of the batter, we're going to make a chocolate cake, a cho chocolate mug cakes in just a second. Now you don't have to use mugs. You can just use one microwavable container. However, because I wanted the name of this video to be one minute cake pops one minute cake pops it's gonna be because mud cakes take one minute to cook if you are using just one container please know the timing will vary if you're using mugs or cups cook these on high for about a minute to one minute and 30 seconds now at this point you're gonna have one of the biggest most important dilemmas of your life it's it's gonna be a true existential crisis and that is do i just eat the mug cakes or do i make cake pops i'm gonna go with cake pops because so many of you ask that aside and let's make make the chocolate mug cakes. To the batter, add some cocoa powder, which you do want to sift to avoid over mixing, and some extra milk. By the way, the full written recipe will be in the description box and on my website. And if you're new to my channel, hello there, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Transfer the batter into mugs and microwave again for anywhere between a minute to one minute and 30 seconds. Now what I love about making cake pops this way is that mug cakes cool fairly quickly. So you can move on to making the cake pops straight away. You don't have to wait half an hour for these to cool like a regular cake. Obviously careful, do not burn yourself. Let these cool slightly, I'd say for about five to 10 minutes at the most and break up that cake using your fingers. Now let's talk frosting. I'm using some leftover buttercream that I made for my lunchbox cakes. Do I expect you to make a teeny little bit of frosting for one minute cake pops? No, of course not. What you can use for the vanilla cake pops is marshmallow fluff. I've tried it and let me tell you, it is better than using buttercream. It's amazing. You could also go with cookie butter, absolutely delicious, or Nutella, which is what I'm using for the chocolate cake pops. If you've never had chocolate Nutella cake pops, honey, this is your chance. So good, and my absolute favorite, chocolate cake Nutella and white chocolate coating, it's the best combo ever, I'm telling you. Now the amount of frosting you'll need really depends on what type of spread and frosting you use. You'll need about two to three tablespoons. You just want those cake crumbs to stick together and form cake balls. Place your balls onto a tray and we're gonna turn them into cake pops with some sticks. You're going to stick each stick you're going to stick each stick <laughs> into some melted chocolate of your joys and then into your mini cakes. Now these have to go in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We need that chocolate around the stick to fully harden. That way the cake pop stays put when we dip it into the melted chocolate. I'm using plain melted chocolate. To get a looser consistency, I've added a tablespoon of coconut oil. Now if you have one of those fancy cake pop stands, use it. If you're cheap like me and you don't want to get wood, just place these onto some parchment paper. Does the job perfectly. These should set up pretty quickly especially with the coconut oil if they're not setting up as fast as you'd like just pop these in the fridge for about five ten minutes now this doesn't need to be said but these are pretty amazing there's something so nostalgic and delicious about having little cakes on a stick they're so good this is a great way to make party favors without having to bake an entire cake so make these for your next birthday party make these for yourself you will love these